guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. In today's video, we're going to cover certs for AS paper one. There is a section of paper one which requires you to know the knowledge of certs. What are certs? Certs are basically square roots, and there is there are only four functions that we need to about, know about uh, square roots. The first one is how to simplify that. We're going to quickly cover over them, and the first portion is simplify. So when we're simplifying certs, we have to see uh, that what this number is made up of. So imagine all the square numbers and what is the biggest square number that is also a factor of 18 so if we see that would be 9 so you can split this number into a square factor that would be 9 times 2 so this number must be the biggest square factor of this sum of 18 so I can now split square roots like this we are allowed to split square roots when we are multiplying or dividing but we are not allowed to split square roots like this if we are adding or subtracting so under root 9 would be 3 and this would be square root of 2 so this is a simplified version of a square root of 18 for some of you guys might use calculators where if you put under root 18 it would automatically give you this value now for under root 27 again it would be 9 times 3 so you have to think of the biggest square factor of this number. So it would be under root 9 times under root 3. So that would be 3 square root of 3. That is again the simplified form. So it's a very, it's a very easy practice. You don't have to think much. You have calculators. If you're confused, you can keep on dividing them with bigger square numbers till you find the biggest square factor. Now for addition and subtraction, only identical thirds can be added. For example, you have 3 square root 2 and 5 square root 2. They have the same square root and hence they can be added. So uh, you can uh, actually visualize this in terms of algebra. For example, if you have 3x plus 5x, it would be 8x. The final answer would be 8 under root of 2. So, but you can also uh, visualize this in another way. Both of them have this square root in common. So if I take square root 2 common, I will have 3 plus 5 over here. So it would be 8 under root 2. So it's up to you how you want to visualize this. 4 square root 3 minus 3 square root 3. So that would be 4 under root 3 minus 3 under root 3. It would just be 1 under root 3. And now, if they are different, they cannot be added. And sometimes they cannot be added directly, but we can manipulate them into getting added. We know this is under root 27. I just, show you, I, I just showed you that under root 27 can be simplified to 3 under root 3. So we can add them by using a tactic 5 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3. Now we can see this is 8 square root of 3. So it's very easy. It's nothing difficult, nothing really technical that you don't uh, understand like very comfortably. Now for this one, for multiplication, the rule, the rule is very simple. You have to multiply the number with the number and you have to multiply the square root with the square root. So 5 times 3 is 15 and under root 2 into under root 3 would become under root 6 because we can take a square root is basically a power and you can take power common while you uh, while multiplication so under root 2 into under root 3 the under root will, will become common so 2 times 3 would become 6 similarly under root 5 into under root 7 square root 5 into square root 7 you can take square root common so it would be 5 into 7 so it would be under root of 35. So for square roots, if they're getting multiplied, you can take the square root common and multiply the inner numbers. Now for division, that's a totally different thing. Now that is very important. You guys might want to learn this. Uh, mathematicians are really upset if we keep denominators uh, with square roots. So what they do is they want us to bring these square roots into numerator while having positive powers. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply this square root 2 in the numerator and denominator. So if I want to remove this square root, I'm going to multiply with this square root 2 in the numerator and denominator. Now what would that achieve us is basically, this would become 3 under root 2. And I just uh, made you learn that square root 2 into square root 2 would become square root of 4. And now we have 3 square root 2 over square root of 4 would become 2. And this process to bring the square root from denominator to numerator without making the powers negative is called rationalization. So at many times you would say that you would be having an answer in the denominator with a square root, 
when the working scheme would be giving that square root in the numerator, you might uh, see this difference when you're using a calculator as well. The calculators also rationalize the answer before giving us the final form. So this is how you convert your answers into a rationalized, this is called a rationalized form, where I have converted the square root from the denominator into the numerator, and I did not use any negative powers. So this is the knowledge of surge that you need in A-levels paper one mathematics, and um, you might be tested at many places Places. This does not have a particular chapter. This is for all over the syllabus. You might uh, find these in algebra, then sometimes in trigonometry, sometimes in circular measure. So you might find them scattered all over the place. So this is a base knowledge that you might want to have before sitting in an A-levels paper one exam. If you understood this video, please share it with a friend who might not know these details so that they can do well in their exams as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.